Lo dice. I had a trouble with the internet connection. Me too, I had a problem too. <laughs> Where okay. are uh, Juan Carlos and yeah, Juan Carlos? Who are you practicing with? ¿Con quién estabas? Eh, estaba con Juan Carlos, Carlos sí, Omar and Tacaña, la chica. Tacalín. No, 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 no era ya. Era... No. Uh -huh. Pero sí, sí estaba con Juan Carlos. No okay. hay problema. Where are they? ¿Dónde están? Where are they? Whatever. No sé. No, no. Okay. No. okay. Aquí los esperamos, no hay problema. I think it's it's time. The activity is over. <laughs> Hi, Abigail. Hi. Hello. Uh, did everyone, did you finish the activity? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I think some people are just trying to, to come to the main station. Okay, let's wait. For okay, uh, so quickly, let's see what suggestions you have, okay? So let me see, uh, for number, uh, let, me, let me look for it here. Okay, for number one, well, number one, we finish it, right? Let's go to number two, okay? What suggestion do you have for number two? We gave the wrong product to a client. What suggestion do you have? Oscar? Arnulfo? They should call the client. Okay, they or you? They, they. Okay. In this case, you say you, all right? Because the, 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 the sentence is we, we. So in plural, you say you. The suggestion is for you, all right? Ya, just imagine. Imagine you tell me, imagínese que todos ustedes me dicen, teacher, uh, we gave the wrong product to a client. So my suggestion is you, ustedes, you, right? Uh, you should uh, call the client, okay? You should call the, the client, okay? Uh, you got it, Oscar Anufo? Yeah? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Oscar Anufo. So any other suggestion? I gave the wrong product to a client. Give me suggestions, please. Give me suggestions. I need suggestions from you. Yes, Inora? What is your suggestion? What sentences, teacher? Number two, we gave the wrong product to a client. You should focus on the client. You should focus on the client, that's right, definitely. I'm a little lost, right? Thank you very much. Number three, I lied to my boss. I lied to my boss. What do you suggest? Or what do you recommend? Present to the client. Okay, uh, first Oscar Anulfo and then Jacqueline Lisette. Oscar Anulfo? Should you present to the client? Uh, you should, uh, maybe in this case, um, maybe you can say you should go with your boss or you should talk with your boss, right? Okay, good. Okay, let's see Jacqueline Lisette. Thank you, Oscar Anulfo. Jacqueline Lisette? Maybe say I show forever to say to, to your boss or my boss. But when you say you, okay, because my. My, it's my problem. Yeah. The problem is that I lie to my boss, I. So you say I you, should. teacher, you should. Forever to say true. Okay, but say <laughs> you. Boss. You, okay, say you should. You should forever to say true. Okay, you should tell the truth forever. Tell, you say tell in this case, okay. You should tell the truth or you should always tell the truth, okay. You should always. 
tell the Always truth. True. Do we have another suggestion? Or do you have another suggestion for me, Galileo? Yes, teacher. Uh, you should keep your confidence. You should keep your confidence. All right. That's important, right, with my boss. Confidence is important. So I should keep that confidence. Okay, good. Uh, any other suggestion? Do you have more suggestions for me? I have a big problem. I lied to my boss. So do you have a do you have one suggestion for me? Or no more suggestions? Okay, let's let's go to the next. Number four. I arrive late to work. What do you suggest? Or what do you recommend? I arrive late to work. I should be early every day at work. Hey, exactly. You should come early to work every day. You should come early to work. Thank you very much. Okay, who gave the opinion? Quien fue que dio la opinión? Who gave the opinion? Was Maria or Abby? Lisette. No, I Jacqueline. Wasn't. Oh, Jacqueline Lisette, sorry. Okay. So anybody else? Any other suggestion? No. No more? You should okay. be punctual. You should be punctual. That's important. Thank you very much. Um, let's go to the next. The next is we left work without permission. A big problem. We left, we left work without permission, with no permission. What do you suggest? You should, you should go to the human resource for your check. <laughs> you should go to human it's resources. A boss. It's a boss. <laughs> yes. So that, that means you are saying goodbye to me. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your suggestion. Thank you very much. Okay. You should go to human resources for your check and never come back. Good. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Dinora, do you have one? Radical. Do you have one suggestion, Dinara? You should ask for permission next time. Good. I can see you are very understanding. Thank you very much. Okay. Juan Carlos is, is not so understanding, right? But you are understanding. <laughs> I'm kidding, Juan Carlos. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else? Do we have more suggestions for me? Or do you have more suggestions for me? No more? No? Okay, next. I had a car accident. I had a car accident. You should not run on the ground. You should not? On the ground. En la carretera, no sé cómo se pronuncia, Ticho. Uh, run. Run is like correr. Run. Run. Ah, uh -huh. Okay, you should not run, run on, on, the the, run. on the road. On the road. On the road. Yes, it's okay. Maybe you can say. You uh, call. Yes, Arnulfo. You should call to nine one one. You should call nine one one. All right, nine one one. Good. Thank you. Good suggestion. Call in this case, right? Uh, maybe uh, Ana Beatriz. In this case, maybe you can say, uh, "You should not drive fast. You should not drive like drive." Okay, drive. Right. You should not drive fast. Okay. Good. Thank you, Arnulfo. Right. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Do you have more suggestions? I should visit to doctor. You should. You say no. I mean, you I have the problem. I you say you repeat it, please. Okay? I had a car accident. No, no, I had I had a car accident. You give me the suggestion. Tú me das la la sugerencia. You give me the suggestion. Say you should. You should visit a doctor. You should visit a doctor, definitely. Or maybe you can say you should call an ambulance. You should call an ambulance, right? Yeah. Ambulance. Good. The last one. We didn't send the reports. What do you suggest? We didn't send the reports. You should send the report as soon as possible. Excellent. You should send the reports as soon as possible. ASAP. Okay. Good. Any any other suggestion? 
You should assign someone to send the report. Excellent. Thank you very much, Abigail. You should assign someone to send the reports. Good. Thank you. Uh, Maria Elena, do you have any suggestion? You should send the reports early in the morning. Yes, that's the first thing I have to do. Thank you very much. Okay. Christian, do you have any suggestions for me? Yes, yes. Okay, what is your suggestion? You should be more delicate to deliver it. Yes, you should be more delicate to deliver reports or to send the reports. Report. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your suggestions. Just as you can, as you could see, the idea is to practice suggestions, right? But as you can see on these examples, um, I don't know if you can notice, but can you see these examples, but the examples are in the simple past? The examples are in past, right? So these verbs are in past. Okay, so verbo está en pasado. We gave the wrong product to a client. I lied to my boss. I arrived late to work. I left. El pasado de, de leave, the pass of leave, right? And here, gave is the pass of give. So this is important, okay? So had, for example, I, I had a car accident. Had is the pass of the verb have, for example. And didn't send, right? Because didn't is making the negative, okay? So my examples are basically in the simple past, okay? That's important because we study the simple past. And the, the most important is also uh, that you could give me suggestions, yes? Que pudieron darme algunas sugerencias. You could give me some suggestions, okay? So do you have any questions about this part? Do you have any questions about this part? No, no teacher. No questions? I think okay. Carlos explained that yesterday, okay? But I just wanted to, to make sure, I just wanted to make sure that you understood the topic, okay? And I can see you understood the topic. If puedo ver que entendieron el tema, you understood the topic, okay? That's the most important. Very good. So let's go to the next activity. So listen up. In the next activity, I have some questions, okay? Um, the idea of this part is that you write emails, okay? That you write emails correctly. So I have some questions, okay? Uh, question number one is, uh, do you send emails every day? Uh, I think you do, right? Or maybe you say, no, I don't, teacher. I send emails three times a week. Or I yes, send I emails do. only on Monday. I don't know. Okay, it's your answer. Second question. Should emails be brief or long? Should emails be brief or long? Brief is short. Okay, short. Brief is short. Short or long. So what do you think? How they should be? Como deberían ser? Brief or long? Brief. Brief. Brief are short, right? Not long. Good. Can you mention uh, three tips to write effective emails? I don't know, right? So do you write emails? Escriben correos ustedes? Do you write emails? Yes? Yes. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Does everybody write emails? All the time. All the time, okay, all the time, very good. Good, so um, three questions, right? Three questions. Question number one, do you send emails every day? Question number two, should emails be brief or long? Or should emails be short or long? Okay, and the last question, okay, and the last question is, can you mention three tips to write effective emails, right? So these questions are uh, on page, 33. So you can go to page 33 and check the questions. Okay? And let's answer the questions. Y contestemos las preguntas. Let's answer the questions. Page 33. Página 33. Page 33. Let's take three minutes to answer the questions. Here you have the questions. Aquí están las preguntas. Here you have the questions.
for question number one, you only say, oh, yes, I do, teacher. I always send emails or I send emails every day. For question number two, should emails be brief or long? And then you say, oh, teacher, I think, I think emails should be long, for example. I think, to give your opinion, right? Para dar su opinión, I think emails should be long. Or I think emails should be brief, for example, okay? And then you write the three tips to write effective emails. According to your experience, okay? De acuerdo a su experiencia, according to your experience. Oh, thank you, Galileo. I can see you finished. Thank you very much. Uh, while you are working, I will pass the attendance, okay? So continue working, just turn on the microphone and say present, okay? Or here. Alejandro Antonio? Not present, right? Um, Ana Abigail? I'm here. Okay, Ana Beatriz? Present. Okay, thank you. Christian Ernesto? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Amber? I'm here. Oh, Ember is here. Okay, thank you, Ember. Uh, Frida? Jacqueline, is it? Here. Okay, here. thank you. Thank you, Juan Carlos Alas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Here. Okay, um, Carla Janet, not present, right? Uh, Eunice, not present. Um, Maria Elena? I'm here. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Okay, thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. Nelson? Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Omar Francisco? Omar? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Oscar Renulfo? I'm here. Um, Oscar Ernesto? Rocío Lourdes, Rocío. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Jacqueline Rodríguez. Present. Jocelyn Joana. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Jose Galileo. Present, teacher. And Dinora Alejandra. 
Present Nora? teacher. Okay, thank you Present. very much. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I give you two more minutes for this activity. Okay, two minutes and we'll finish this activity. So we go to the next one. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. I can see finish too. Thank you very much. And Oscar Arnulfo, right? Thank you very much. Oh, let me see. Jocelyn finished too. Thank you, Jocelyn. Let me see who else, Ana Beatriz. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Okay, uh, so time is over. Uh, so we have three questions, right? Uh, question number one is, do you send emails every day? Question number two, should emails be brief or long? Question number three, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? If you have one tip, no problem, okay? You can say it. Okay, let's start uh, with the ones finished so the others have an idea. Okay, let's see, Jose Galileo, uh, you start. Uh, do you send emails every day? Yeah, do. Uh, should emails be brief or long? I think the emails should be brief. Brief. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you mention some tips to write effective emails? Do we have some tips? Sure, right away. Effective emails should be short, directly, and specific. Oh, good. They should be short, direct, and Specific. Oh, nice. Good. Person directed. Thank you very much, Jose Galileo. Good opinion. All right, Galileo, uh, can you select a classmate, please? Yeah, Omar Francisco. Okay, ask, ask the questions. Ask Omar the questions. Okay, do you send emails every day, Omar? Yes, I send um, email every day. Uh, should emails be brief or long? Uh, email should be short. Can you mention some tips to write effective emails? Yes, that are short, be respect, respectful, and say goodbye cordially. Nice, that's excellent. That's important, right? Be respectful is important, okay? And to say goodbye, okay? Like a formal closing. Una forma de cierre eh, formal, valga la redundancia, okay? A formal closing, yeah? Very good. Okay, thank you, Omar. Omar, can you select a classmate, please? A girl, a girl, a lady. Okay, uh, Ana Maria. Okay, ask Ana, Mar uh, Ana Maria or Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Maria, Maria Elena. Elena. Maria Elena. All right. So ask Maria Elena the questions. Okay. 
Do you send email every day? Yes, always. Okay, should email be, be first or long? Be first. Can you show three tips to write effective email? Uh, the main information should go in the detail of the email. Uh, use a uh, profiler uh, avoid excess if you have to send an attachment. Thank you, Maria. Maria Elena. Okay. Any information Thank is you. at the beginning, okay? Thank you very much, Maria Elena. Good information, okay? Maria Elena, can you select another lady, please? A lady, a lady. Um, but not the lady in red, okay? Another lady. Ana Beatriz. Okay, ask Ana Beatriz. Good evening, Ana. Good evening. Do you send, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do send email every day. Should emails be, be briefing or long? I, I send briefings. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Uh, one, avoid excess the letters. Uh, two, if you have to send out the items, do not use emojis. Do not use emojis. I use emojis, right? Because they are formal, Thank you. okay? Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Ana Beatriz and Maria Elena, okay? Okay, Maria Elena, select the last person, a boy. Me again. I mean, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, uh, select a boy, please, and answer questions. A boy, a man. Um, uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Okay, ask the questions. Uh, ask Juan Carlos the questions. Juan Carlos, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. Uh, should email be, be brief? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Brief. Brief. Be brief or long? I think to be brief. Okay. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? You must polite. You think before to write it, and you be careful with the orthography. Good. Okay, uh, thank you. Excellent. So you have to be polite and be careful with the handwriting, okay, or with the, yeah, with the typewriting. Be careful with the typewriting, with the grammar. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos Rivas, and thank you, everybody. I know everybody answered the questions, right? Unfortunately, not a, I can ask everybody the questions, okay? But thank you for taking the time to answer the questions, okay? Can you please help me and let's give thumbs up to the participations, please. Go to reactions and give thumbs up to the participants, okay? Please, go to reactions and give thumbs up to Ana Beatriz, Juan Carlos Rivas, okay? Let's give them thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Uh, good job, okay, very good. Now, Let's go to the next activity. So look, uh, basically in the next activity, um, if you have the photocopies, okay? If you have the photocopies, si tiene la photocopia, if you have the photocopies, um, on activity number two, page 33, we have a little chart, okay? Tenemos un pequeño cuadrito. We have a little chart. And on this chart, on this chart, we have some tips for writing formal emails, okay? But on this chart, we also have some tips that are informal, okay? So we have the mixed, están mezclados. We have formal tips and we have informal, like ways or inappropriate ways, formas inapropriadas, informal ways to write emails, okay? Good. Now, can you help me please? What do you think is formal? Number one, do not use capitals. That's formal or informal? 
Come on. Formal. Do not use capitals. What is capitals? Letra mayúscula. Mayúsculas, mayúsculas. Okay, do not use capitals. So that's for formal emails or what? Or what do you think? Formal. Informal. Exactly, exactly. Formal. It's for formal. I will put a letter F. Le voy a poner una F. I will put a letter F. So this is for formal emails. Number two, avoid using the subject important. Avoid using the subject important. The subject is like the, the topic of the email, right? Formal. This is? Formal. It's formal. In a formal, in a formal email, in a formal email, you don't put, you or you don't write important, right? Because, I mean, if it's an email, it's important, obviously, okay? Number three, use a formal salutation, formal or informal? Formal. Formal or informal, everybody? Formal. 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 That's right. So you use an, a salutation, okay? You use a formal salutation. Very good. Next, be brief. ¿Qué dijimos que era brief? What is brief? Corto. Breve, 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 breve. Be brief, be brief, be brief, se breve. So it's formal or informal? Formal. Formal. It's, it's formal. It's an appropriate email. It's appropriate. I, I, I would say appropriate, okay? Yeah. Express clearly why you are writing. Is it formal? Or do you follow this tip? See, in este tip, do you follow this tip when you write an email? Formal. Do you follow this tip? Siguen este tip ustedes? Do you follow this tip? Express clearly what you are writing. No. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Tú estás Express clearly why you are writing. The reason why you are writing. Informal. Is it formal or informal? Formal. It's formal, okay. I mean, you can follow this one. Este lo pueden seguir ustedes. You can follow this one, okay? It makes it formal. Do not use abbreviations like, for example, what abbreviations can you use? Like, for example, ASAP. ASAP is as soon as possible. What else? ¿Qué más podrían usar que es una abbreviation? Atento. Atent uh, exactly, like, Lentamente, but this is possible. Este sí es posible. That's possible, okay? Uh, but imagine you say, imagine you say, um, how are you? And then you do it like this. Usar como cuando escribimos en WhatsApp que ponemos por, que solo ponemos una X. Exactly, exactly. So when you write emails, do you use abbreviations? Like this, como esta, how are you? Do you use abbreviations like this? Never. No, never, right? You don't use abbreviations, okay? It's impossible. That's informal. You don't follow this. Good. Okay, so this will be informal, or you don't follow this. Eso no se sigue. Do not use similes. I mean, smileys, sorry, similes, smileys. Do not use smileys. I am into literature. Do not use smileys. What is smileys? Eh, mm -hmm. Como los emojis, no. Like emojis, exactly, caritas. emojis. Emojis or caritas. So do not use smiles. This is formal or informal? Informal. No, but it says do not. Do not. No use do not. It's formal. Formal. It's formal. formal. Yes. Okay, so basically these are the ones we follow, okay? Esos son los que normalmente seguimos, okay? When we write emails, when we write emails, uh, we don't use capital letters. We avoid using the subject important because obviously the, 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 the email is important. We use a formal salutation like good morning, uh, how are you, mom? Okay, you are brief. You express clearly what you are waiting. Okay, uh, you don't use abbreviations and you don't use smileys, okay? Smileys. Okay, very good. So this is negative. Then it's possible to be formal, okay? Good. Now, Taking this in consideration, tomando esto en consideración, taking this in consideration, this information, okay? What are you going to do in this moment? So listen, 
on activity three, you have a conversation, okay? And in this conversation, we can use the tips of the previous activity. We can use the tips in previous, on previous activity, okay? The idea is that you modify the conversation to practice, okay? The idea is that you modify or personalize the conversation to practice. Now, imagine I practice with Juan Carlos. I say, do you often send emails? And Juan Carlos says, oh, yes, I do. And then I say, luego yo digo, is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? I say, oh, no, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Y luego, yeah, sure. Y comparten algunos de los que están ahí arriba, de los que ya vimos, okay? Some of the ones we started. Which ones? What is? But the arriba, these ones, do not use all capitals, avoid using the subject important, use a formal salutation, blah, 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 okay? So the idea is to practice this conversation, but the idea is to use more tips. La idea es usar más tips de los que están acá in the conversation, yeah? Is it clear? Yes. Do you have any question? No? It's no. clear. So I repeat, the idea is that you go and practice the conversation and that you use the tips, okay, on page 33. And the conversation is on page 33, okay? So are you ready to practice? I will give you five minutes, okay? To practice the conversation. Take the two turns, okay? Tomen ambos turnos. Take the two, the two turns, please, okay? So are you ready? Yes, are you ready? ready. Yes, yes ready. okay. Let's go and practice. Vamos entonces. Let's go and practice then. Hi, Mauricio. Um, is Ember working? Hola, hola, Ember. Hi, Ember. Saludar, pero, pero, uh, okay. Uh, hola, hola. Ember, are you working? Uh, ah, okay. Okay, no. It's okay, no problem. Mauricio, I will send Jacqueline Lisette with you then. Wait here, okay? Hold on here. Okay. Let me okay. send Jacqueline with you. Yeah, she's here. Jacqueline Gloribel is here. So you can uh, do it with Jacqueline Gloribel, okay? Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
show, the image show by Sumarese and Clear. Maybe you can say it short and clear. You, you, want, to say, you want to say resumidos, right? Ah, sí, 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 sí. Yes. You can say brief, brief and short. Brief and, sh uh, brief and, and short. short, and short, exactly. Okay. Y de, después por, eh, escribir la, la, los otros tips y, y, y pronunciarlos. Eso tendría, yes. sería la. Exactly. Ah, okay. Um, what that's what that's what I use use the the uh, the film your emails sería usar usar la firma en los emails en los o la descripción del puesto no sé pero Ay, no sé cuál es la palabra. Maybe you can say make a closing for the email. Haz un cierre para el correo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, maybe, right? I, I don't know. Or maybe what you want to say is that your name has to appear at the end. Your name, the address, and the cell phone number. Yes? Okay. Yes. Ah, then, then you can say um, add personal information at the end. Add personal information at the end. Like name, email, um, cell phone number, the place where you work, I don't know. Okay. okay. Say add personal information at the end. Add, like agregar, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Ay, quiero ver. Otro que se le ocurra. Podemos usar lo que de la actividad anterior. Yes. Sí. You can use them. Um, do not, do not use abbreviation. Um, do not use of cap capitals. And then use capitals. Que sea conciso es. Must be concise. Uh, the debrief. Eso se, eso se puede utilizar para, esa, para eso también, ¿verdad? Yeah, but you can say concise Brief. too. Uh, you can say concise. También puede decirse concise. Concise. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Right, guys. There is. Y Gray Tyler. Como escribir sobre temas de importancia. No. Bueno, pero ahí depende, porque si con los amigos lo puedes no, pues, laboralmente, es como escribir temas relacionados al trabajo, sería pues. Yeah, actually it's about work, so it's something formal, Mauricio. Es formal. Yeah, it's something formal. Es, es Gray. Right about, about uh, temas laborales. Working matters. Oh, wow. Right about working matters. Right about working matters, okay? Working matters. Matters. Yes, matters is with double T. Va con doble T. Matter is with double T. What about working matters? Uh,
Ah, también sería guay uh, que vayan con copia a los jefes, ¿no? pues, pues. Maybe you can say copy to your boss. To, to your boss. To you. uh -huh. to make, boss. make a copy of the email uh, for your boss, maybe. Uh -huh. Make a copy of the email for your boss. Y escribir título. Write right. title. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let me let me see. Yeah, write the title. You can say the title of the email. Write the title. A title. 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 Rápida respuesta. Teacher. Yeah. Could be an option uh, number six, provide a fast answer. Yes. Talking about emails. Yeah, it's okay. Like, thank you, like when they write you, right? Sometimes uh, you don't answer very quickly, but at least you can, you can type received or recibido, received, okay? Or thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Which other, Omar? Mm. Uh, respect, ah. respect, be respect, respectful. Be respectful. Be respectful. Yeah, it's okay. Be respectful. Be respectful. Be respectful. Uh, in your answer, o general. Eh, la otra. Put your. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo diríamos? Your. Quiero, quiero colocar este. En cada correo vaya el, el, el nombre, dirección, teléfono y el cargo de la persona. ¿Cómo podría decir eso? Maybe, maybe you can say add personal information at the end of the email. Add personal information at the end of the email. <coughs> add. Add personal information. Solo. solo Sorry. No, pero son dos, ¿verdad? Mm. Yeah, yeah, double D, double D, double D. It's okay, it's correct. Al. Al. Personal information. Personal. At the end of the email. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I got it. Uh, what what's more uh, uh, ay, ya no se me ocurre otra. <laughs> That's enough. Don't worry. It, 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 now, you, now you can take some time to practice. <clears throat> Oh my God. Oh, Hello, are you feeling better? Finish, teacher. Por eso se va a traer un vaso con agua. Riendo, fue. No le vamos a dar los dos minutos. Okay. Teacher. Are you, are you, no, no, it's okay, don't worry. Are you feeling better, Jessalyn? Sientes mejor, you feeling better? Ah, finish hoy que me decía. No, no, are you eh, feeling better? No, no. Ah, no, no, teacher. Okay. A mí me costaba otra vez. Are you, are you ready? Yes. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, teacher. Bueno. Sí, yo. Okay, uh, so did you finish practicing the conversation? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's listen only to three pairs because we have one last activity, okay? We have the main activity. So let's listen to three pairs. Let's see who didn't participate in the last activity. Okay, let's see him. Let me see here. Gloribel didn't participate in the previous activity. So Gloribel, who is your pair? Who is your partner? Mauricio. Mauricio. Okay, can you can you perform the conversation, please? Oh, okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, so uh, you can add personal information at the end. Do not use abbreviation. Write about working minors and write a title. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Glory Bell and Mauricio Antonio. Um, everybody, let's give them thumbs up, please. Let's give Ma uh, Mauricio and Jacqueline thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up. Go to reactions and congratulate them. Say congratulations with your thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's listen to um, Nelson. Nelson, who is your pair, Nelson? Hello, eh, con Maria. Maria is your pair. Okay, for this activity. Okay, Maria, are you ready? Okay. Maria Elena. Yes. Okay, we listen to you. We're all ears. Uh, Mr. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? Oh, no, it is no professional. I see. Call you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Don't know, you say email. Uh, don't know, you say, pardon. It's free, so clearly you, you are reading. Be free, you say a formal solution. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Okay, um, let's give them thumbs up, please. Go to reaction, reaction, sorry, and give them thumbs up. Thank you, Maria Elena and Nelson. Thank you. Okay, so everybody can go to reactions and give them thumbs up, okay? Saying congratulations, good job. Okay, let's listen to our last pair. The last pair will be, um, let me see, let me see here. Oh, Jacqueline Lisette participated, Dinora, all right. Uh, Dinora Alejandra, who is your partner for this activity, Dinora? Okay, Jacqueline. Okay, so we are all ears. Okay, do you often send emails? Give me one second, please. Okay. Perdí la hojita. Ay, no puede ser. Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a revision in business emails? No, no, it is not professional. I see. 
Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yes, what are the tips, Jacqueline? Hi, Jacqueline. You Hola. Need to, you, need to, you need to continue saying the tips because the question is, what, what is the question? Can you repeat it, please, uh, Dinora? Could you share more tips to write effective emails? You say, Jacqueline, you say, yes, sure. And you give the tips. Y das los tips. Das más tips. You give more tips. Um, I should do not use all capital. Okay, continue, please. Uh, and not use smiling. Yeah. And don't use abbreviation. Yeah. And express clearly why you are grading. Excellent. You should be brief and a huge formal salutation. Salutations. And I have salutation. And a no, como se pronuncia eso? A poet using the subject import. A poet. A poet. A poet using the subject import. Avoid using the subject important. Okay, thank you very much, Jacqueline. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Jacqueline and Dinora. Let's give them thumbs up, please. Let's give them thumbs up. Go to reactions and let's give them likes or thumbs up. I think it was Jacqueline Gloribel who was asking, how do you say titulo? ¿Quién preguntaba? How do you say titulo? Del correo. It was Jacqueline Gloribel, I think I don't remember. But somebody asked, alguien preguntó, it's subject, sorry, I said title, but it's subject, it's subject, okay? Subject, it's for the topic of the email, el tema principal del correo, subject, okay? The subject of the email. Very good, okay, thank you for your participations. Um, let's go to the last activity, listen. On the last activity, you will work in pairs. And you will, okay, you will, you will put into practice some vocabulary we studied, okay? Or the tips we studied, and we have more information for you to put into practice when you write an email. The idea is that you write an email, a formal email to a colleague or to a coworker in this moment, okay? For this, you will work in pairs. But please, you need to work on Microsoft Word. But I want to ask, quiero preguntar, I want to ask, ¿Cuántos están conectados desde su, desde su computadora, de su laptop? Can you raise your hands, please? Levanten la mano, raise your hands, please. Okay, um, only two. Okay, let's see. Um, raise your hands. Go to reactions and raise your hand. Abigail, this is important right now. This is important right now. Abigail, Mauricio, um, Galileo. Um, let me see who else. Ana Beatriz, right? Um, Oscar Arnulfo and Cristian Azo. Beatriz, Oscar Arnulfo, and Christian Lasso, okay? And Christian Lasso. Who else? Quien más? All down? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people working with a laptop. Why is this important? Because if you are working with, if you have a laptop, that means you can share a Word document. Okay, pueden trabajar en un documento Word. And you work on the email, all right? Pueden hacerlo en una cajita, así tipo email, like a box or a chart, en un cuadrito tipo email. And you write the email you are sending the, I mean, the person you are sending the email to, the subject, and then the greeting or saludo, I don't know, and then the content of the email and the closing of the email, y el cierre del correo, and the personal information if you want, okay? So I am asking this because it's in, a computer is important for this activity. Because you can use a Word document. Pueden usar un documento Word. You can use a Word document, shared document, okay? Good, so let's see. Um, let's see, Abigail, you are team number one, Abigail. Abigail, you are team number one. Elige alguien para que trabaje contigo. Choose someone for you uh, to work with you, Abigail. Choose one person. 
Abigail. Abigail. Está lloviendo junto, casi no, no, no le he escuchado. Can you choose a partner, please? Puedes elegir un compañero para que trabaje contigo. Can you choose a partner? Okay, uh, José Galileo. No, not Galileo, because Galileo has a laptop. Los que tienen una laptop, no. Los que están con compu, no. You cannot ah. choose Abigail, Mauricio, Galileo, Ana Beatriz, Oscar Anulfo, and Christian Lazo. They can be okay. chosen. Ellos no pueden ser elegidos. Ok, uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Ok, so Abigail and Juan Carlos Rivas. Yeah. So you are team number one. Ustedes son el equipo uno. Mauricio. Ok, uh, select someone, please, Mauricio. Hi, Mauricio. Uh, uh, a cualquiera, a cualquiera o... Yeah, yeah. But not Abigail... Galileo, Ana Beatriz, Oscar Anulfo, and Christian Azo, because they have a laptop. And the idea uh, is that we have a laptop in, the, in every group. Ah, uh, Jocelyn. 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 Okay, Jocelyn, you are with Mauricio, and you are team number two. Son el equipo dos. You are team number two. Okay, for, don't, don't forget this, please. Galileo, select someone, please, Galileo. Yeah, uh, Nelson, Gabarrete. Nelson, so Galileo, you are team number three. En Gabarrete, son el equipo tres. You are team number three. Let's see Ana Beatriz. Select someone, please, Ana Beatriz. Gloribel. Gloribel. Okay. Gloribel. Jacqueline Gloribel. So you are team number four. Gloribel and, and Ana Beatriz, you are team number four. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo, select someone, please. Anybody? Okay, we have Maria Elena available. We have Dinora Alejandra. We have Omar Francisco available. You're mentioned. I don't know, you say it. You're design. No, you decide, you decide this time. I want to decide this time. You decide this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jocelyn Joanna. Jocelyn Joanna. Ah, but she was chosen. I ya la eligió Mauricio. She was chosen by oh, Mauricio. Okay, Omar Francisco. Mara, okay, so you are. Omar Francisco and Oscar Arnulfo, you are team number five, okay? You are group okay. number five. And Christian okay. Lazo. Christian Lazo, obviously Dinora is with you, Christian Lazo. Dinora of is course. with you. Dinora is with you. And you are team number six. Tú eres el equipo, ustedes son el equipo número seis, Dinora and Christian. Who's missing? A quien no mencioné, who didn't I mention, que no tenga equipo, who doesn't have a team? Jacqueline is that right? Jacqueline said, you go with Abigail and Juan Carlos. ¿A quién más no mencioné? Who else didn't I mention? María Elena, you go with Mauricio and Jocelyn. Oh, Lisette, you are team number one. Lisette, you are in, Jacqueline Lisette, you are in team number one. Estás en equipo uno. María Elena, you are in team number two. María Elena with Mauricio and Jocelyn, okay? Who else? ¿Quién más me falta? Who else is missing? Who else doesn't have a group? ¿Quién más no tiene equipo? So, I, let me repeat. Lisette Abigail, Lisette Abigail and Juan Carlos Rivas, team number one. Equipo número uno, team number one. María, Mauricio and Jocelyn, team number two. Galileo and Nelson, team number three. Ana Beatriz and Gloribel, team number four. Oscar Anulfo and Omar, team number five, and Christian Lasso and Dinora, team number six. Team number six, equipo numero seis, team number six, okay? Are you ready? So, just before you go to work, antes de que se vayan a trabajar el, el correo, before you go to work on the email, listen, escuchen, listen up. On page um, 34, en la página 34, on page 34, you have more information to write emails. I must information. You have more information to write emails. So on this information, okay, we have tips for writing emails. But you have formal tips and you have informal tips. So in the groups, you can use this information, okay? But decide on which tips are formal and try to use the formal tips, okay? Traten de usar los tips que son formales. Try to use the formal 
things, okay? This is on page 34. Eso está en la página 34. This is on page 34, okay? So let's go to work. We have 10 minutes to work. Tenemos 10 minutos para trabajar. We have 10 minutes to work on this, okay? So let's go to work. Vamos a trabajar entonces. Let's go to work. Do you have an equation before? No, teacher. No, no questions? Okay, let's go to work. So choose the right team. Escojan el equipo que les dije. Choose the right team. <coughs> Choose your team, please. Choose your team. Elijan su equipo. Choose your team. Uh, puede ser, empecemos para quién va dirigido. Puede ser, por lo menos podemos utilizar. Y el asunto, podríamos the manejarlo. The subject. The subject. Sorry. And the subject. The subject. And the subject. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, me perdí. Okay, no, okay, okay. And the subject, podría seguir el siguiente, vamos a ver. Um, um, no sé si le parece como um, confirmation, um, the delivery your product, la confirmación de la entrega de su producto. También. Confirmation delivery product. Product delivery. And submission of product delivery. Confirmation of. Of product delivery. Product delivery. Exactly. Okay. Podemos poner Dear Miss eh, Está bien si ocupamos su nombre, Dinora, ¿le parece? Ok Dinora Dear Miss Dinora Point y espacio hacia abajo. En space. And... You can check the Uy. tips again. You can check the tips again. Pueden revisar los tips otra vez. You can check the eh, tips again. No, if you no, want. Es importante. Incluye la presentación. Could you confirm? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Dinora. Yes. Uh, I recommend you go and check the tips on page 34. I recommend you go and check the tips on page 40, 34. Página 34, page 34. Go and check the tips. That will help you. Eso les ayudará mucho. That will help you a lot. Ah, también. Aquí faltó. Puede hacerse una estructura o se mirará, por ejemplo, good morning. Uy, sorry. The greeting, exactly. Good morning. There, Miss Dinor Alfaro. O puede ser Miss Alfaro. Solo no, el no, apellido. It's, no, it's okay. It's okay. Puede like ir así, ¿verdad? Okay. Good morning. There, Miss Dinor Alfaro. Okay. Y podemos empezar así. 
is a pleasure eh, saludarle saludarle sería un pleasure aquí está mal escrito aquí está pleasure salud saludarle sería salud salud cómo podría decirle saludarla a ella salutation no como, por ejemplo, es un placer saludarle. Me, I, I, I wouldn't say saludar. Uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's un placer saludarle because you, you are saying good morning. And you said good morning already. Ya ah, como good morning. Para, para repetirlo, ok. Uh -huh, for not repeating. Maybe you can say, um, what? In, in the tips. Um, o puede ser de propósito. Uh, the purpose. We'll say the uh, purpose. The purpose. Okay. The purpose. Así. No, purpose. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, purpose. yeah. Because basically on the first part of the email, you need to write the main point. Okay. Or the main, the, 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 the most important information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Okay. okay. The purpose. La idea, Dinora, de que le vamos a decir que el propósito de la presente es hacerle saber que... Pero que, que sea más corto, no solo... Uh -huh. Do you confirm if the... I don't know, the vegetable... Arrive to... To your warehouse, please. All right, And, to you. I, I have a question. I have a question again for you. Uh, did you check the tips I told you? Eh, yo lo estoy visualizando. Y, oh, okay. Eh, ahorita el primero y segundo punto ya lo, ya lo hicimos. Ah, you consider decir. it. Okay, you consider Correct. it. Okay. Consider it. Uh -huh. eh, y después el tercer punto dice, right, you may point in the opening sentence. You are doing that in this moment. Uh, in this moment, you are exactly. writing the main point. Exactly. Um, y eso es lo que quiero, el propósito de la presente es comunicarle que su pedido okay. ya está en la bodega, lo que estaba mencionando Dino. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Continue then. Okay, okay. The purpose. Um, de la presente sería no sé Dinora si quieres agregar algo más o lo vamos bien o tú opíname qué dices it's okay Christian ok propósito is communicate to pero is to communicate. Ah, is to co communi. Hay que clasificar. Vaya, está tú, Peter y Robert. Correcto. Ah, pues hay yo dos. Tu more me is Ah, pero son dos en teoría, ¿verdad? Who has, has a laptop here? Has a computer here. Teacher, eh, no, a la que tiene la computadora le fue la luz. Oh, oh my God. No pagó. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Abigail. So you, you can share screen. No puedes compartir pantalla, entonces. You can share screen. Está, no, nada. No, 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 ni ni, ni datos celular. tiene, dice ya. Oh, my God. Poor her. And I, and I said the idea is that uh, Juan Carlos, Jacqueline, and Abigail work together. I know they are colleagues, so they have to work together. Uh, yes, but. No, si se salió, ya se pregó. Ay, que ven como copia. Hay una pobre en candela. Okay. Vaya, teacher, but pero maybe, para maybe, maybe you can do it on chat. Okay, tal vez lo pueden hacer en el chat. Maybe you can do it on the, on the chat. Okay. Para resumir eh, las comparaciones de los dos correos, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Y luego vamos a hacer un correo a nosotros con la forma correcta. No, no, the, the idea right o now is that, 
is that you write an email, okay? You, you will write an email to a coworker or to your boss, maybe, I don't know. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the idea, uh, the idea is that you apply the information, okay, the information on the on page 34, okay, like mm -hmm. be polite, uh, like use a, a block, I don't know, there's something, okay? A signature block. A signature block, exactly. Uh, what else? Uh -huh. There you have some Proofread before you send the message. And the salutation, so the idea is that doing- Proof, Proofread, uh, what does it mean? Proofread, proof it's read. like read again, read again. Proof read is like you finish your email, go and read the email again uh, to check for okay. errors, to check for errors. Okay, okay. That is proof read. Uh, so the idea is that you apply these tips, right? Okay. Yeah. Ah, pues eso hagamos en el, en el, en el chat. Pero uno como que es este, o formal y el otro informal, vea. Sí. Uh -huh. Dice Rimele de el de que va para Peter, mínimo hasta para Peter, va informal, informal, para Roberto, formal. Y ya viste que coincide con la reunión del sábado, tu reunión loca, ya nadie va a quedar. Coincide con tu reunión del sábado. La reunión de él solo y su mundo. Vaya, pónganle ahí entonces. ¿Mm? Object meeting, Saturday's meeting. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> we had. Le dice así. Sí. Ok. Luego sería. Hello. And... Hello. 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 Uh, for, in this case, it will be fathers, fathers, like apostrophe S in fathers, apostrophe, father, apostrophe, and then letter S, okay? Uh, father, apostrophe, uh -huh. Apost but you want apostrophe, father, apostrophe, yes, fathers. <laughs> uh, fathers a day and day is in singular father's day because it's dia not dias right uh, father's <laughs> day celebration yeah that's okay continue okay uh, did you read the tips on page 34 did you check the information e Okay, I'm gonna put it the share. Sorry. I mean, did, did you check the information uh, on page 34? Like the, the yes. yes, yes, you yes. did. Okay, okay, yes. continue, continue. Seria. Quiero ver. Y cómo sería estimado? Estimado. Dear. Dear. D E A R, Javier. No, in singular, with no S. Okay, okay. continue. Here is like querida o estimada. Okay. Is ahí. Eh, sería. Jacqueline, ¿cómo le diríamos allá a ponerle? Um, y si le ponemos Dear, remember Estimados, recuerden que el Día del Padre lo vamos a celebrar But according to the according to the, to the tips okay, according to the tips First, you need like opening words or a greeting. Necesitan un saludo. You need a greeting. Maybe you can say, um, good morning, dear fathers, for example. Maybe you could say that, that okay? Good morning, dear fathers. Okay. You give a space and then you write the purpose. Luego escriben el propósito, okay? The purpose of the email. Good morning, fathers. 
Fathers. Dear, pa uh -huh. You can say dear, queridos papás, dear fathers. In this case, fathers is in plural because the, the celebration is for different fathers, okay? So you put fathers okay. in plural. Okay. Yeah. Uh, grat, grato. Sería grato. Grato. Sería grato. Ajá. Nice. <laughs> nice. Para describirlo. <laughs> grato es nice. All right. Yo diría más. Ahí. Salutación. I, I, I think, well, in my opinion, right? In my opinion. I think that uh, you don't need, okay, it's not necessary to say salutation because you said good morning already. Ya dijeron good morning. So salutation is not necessary, in my opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you greeted already. Ya saludaron. You said good morning, okay? Okay. Maybe on, the, on this page, uh, what you need is to write the purpose of the email. What is the purpose of the email? Uh, recordar, right. recordar el día de la celebración. Okay, maybe you can say directly. We want to remind you. you remember. Uh, remind in this case. Si un recordatorio es remind. Remind. Okay, remind. Maybe you can say we want to remind you that. The situation? No, with the at the end. Con the al final. All right. Yeah. Remind. Yeah, but, but maybe... Okay, maybe you can say, we want to remind you. Arriba ya dijimos fathers, okay? Para no decir fathers otra vez, podemos ser fathers. Y el dear, I feel it's better if you say, good morning, dear fathers. Es mejor si lo ponemos arriba, arriba, en good morning. Good morning, dear fathers. Buenos días, buenos días queridos papás. Good morning, mm -hmm. dear fathers. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, y abajo, we want to remind you. Queremos recordarles, we, we want, okay, we want to remind you. Y ahí lo que quieran recordar, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No se lo enseñamos al teacher, hasta que no. 79, 21, 13, 38. Ah, ¿cuál es? 79, 99, 4, 4, 6, 8. Yo, acabo, yo, yo recién puse la, 4, 4, la imagen. 4, 6, ok, ok. Teacher, is, ah. is, yeah. is, ya tenemos nuestro, nuestro, nuestro email. Eh, Ready. You can see the <laughs> Hey, hey. ¿Qué te pasa? Esto debe estar en el, en el manual, en el manual, en el manual, teacher, del próximo. ¿Por qué se ríe, teacher? No, I mean, because of the content, for the yeah. contenido. It starts in, so your attendance is taken into account for your final <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah it's okay. It's okay. okay. Maybe in this case you can say we want to remind you. Oh, okay, I was with Arnulfo. Maybe in this case you can say uh, at the beginning of the most important information. You can say we want to remind you. Queremos recordarles, okay, or queremos recordarle. We want to remind you, okay? Yeah, please. In the case of Oscar Nufo's email and, and company, okay? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess uh, some people finished, right? Creo que algunos terminaron y algunos no han terminado. Can you please go to reactions and raise your hand if you finish your email? Go to reactions and if you finish your email, raise your hand. Si terminaron el correo, levanten la mano en reactions, please. Go to reactions so I, I have a record of the people who finished. Christian, go to reactions and raise your hand, please, okay? Yeah, so almost half, casi la mitad, almost half. Well, few people actually. Yeah. Okay, uh, so look, everybody needs to have this email. On the discussion forum for tomorrow, on the platform, en la plataforma, en el, en el foro de discusión le voy a poner esto, que escriban el correo que hicieron para, para ver cómo lo, lo hicieron, okay? So you need to paste it there. Necesitan pegarlo ahí. You need to paste it there. So you need to finish it. Necesitan terminarlo. So please don't forget. For an email, it's important to have the subject, okay? And don't say important in the subject when you write an email. The greeting, el saludo, like good morning, dear, what, boss? Or good morning, um, Mr. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro. Or good evening, uh, Miss Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. And then the purpose, y luego el propósito. Uh, the purpose of this email is, and then you write the purpose, escribimos el propósito, is to announce you that the new products are coming tomorrow. Brief, breve, brief. Y el closing, okay, la forma de cerrar el correo. ¿Qué podían usar para cerrar el correo? What can you use to close the email? What vocabulary can you use? ¿Qué vocabulario pueden usar para cerrar el correo? What vocabulary can you use to close the email? Maybe best regards. Exactly. You can say best regards. Regards. Looking forward to your comments. Okay. So you can use this vocabulary. Podemos usar esto, like, to close the email, para cerrar el correo, to close the email. Best regards. Regards or looking forward to your comments. And... Very important, the signature block or the personal information, okay? Your name, your business address, and your phone number, okay? Very good. And then you proofread the email. What is proofread? ¿Qué es proofread? What is proofread? Volverlo a leer. Volverlo a leer. Revisar. Revisar. Okay, to check the email again for mistakes, right? Or maybe for some information that is not appropriate, okay? So you make sure the email is correct. And you make sure that the person you are sending the email is the person you want to send the email to, okay? So the proofreading is important in emails, okay? Very good. I don't know if you have any questions. So finish your email and I will open a space on the discussion forum, okay? Terminen el correo y yo voy a abrir un espacio en el foro de discusión para que lo puedan pegar ahí. So you can paste it there, okay? So do you have any questions before we go? Me tomé un poquito más de tiempo por los problemas que hubieron al principio de conexión de, de parte de mi persona, ¿ok? So I'm sorry about that. Lo siento, pero tenía que hacerlo. I had to do it. No problema, para, Kiche. No para problem. que no le, era, es, fue para que no quedarle debiendo minutos, ¿ok? Any problem. Pero el tiempo de los dos minutos lo quedó debiendo. Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry about that. Ok, the class no was so interesting that I forgot. Okay, um, so um, I don't know, for today, Jocelyn, I think it's Jocelyn, but she's feeling bad. Jocelyn, yeah, Jocelyn, I think you have the 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 one-on-one -on -one session today. Creo que ahora te toca a ti la sesión uno a uno. ¿Recuerdas, Jocelyn? Jocelyn Joanna, yes. Jocelyn Joanna, okay? Sí. Yes. Sí, teacher, ahora me toca. Okay, perfect. Okay, everyone, so if you have no questions, let's finish the class right now. Solo se quedan pendientes del foro de discusión para que agreguen su correo, okay? So you go and check it tomorrow. Lo revisan mañana, you check it tomorrow. Like during lunch, maybe you can go and check, okay? So do you have any questions? Or no questions? No. Okay, no everybody. Question. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry about yesterday, by the way. Lo siento por ayer. No están en mis manos, no, no, este, conectarme, okay? So if I had a, a family issue that I needed to, to solve, okay? So that's why I wasn't in class. But I promise that's the only time. Prometo que eso será la única vez. That will be the only time, okay? <laughs> Pinky promise. Pinky promise, okay? Okay. 
All right, everybody. Thank you very much for connecting. Good night. Goodbye and take care. Bye bye. Good night. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Los que están solamente de oyentes, se me desconectan, por favor. Los que están solamente de oyentes, se me desconectan, please. You get disconnected, please. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Good night, Jacqueline. Bye bye. Bye bye, Nelson. Bye. Good night. Okay, Jocelyn, this space is for you. So if you have any questions, say them now. Okay, teacher. pues entonces. Okay, let's gossip. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bueno. Recuerde que, que me dijo usted que le escribiera al WhatsApp para mandarme eh, una página, parece que me dijo, para eh, lo de vocabulario, para tener como un hábito de aprender nuevo vocabulario. Uh -huh. Me quedé esperando, ya no me lo mandó. Pero me mandaste el, me escribiste. Did you text me? Sí. Oh, I'm sorry, lo siento muchísimo entre, entre tanta cosa, lo siento muchísimo Jocelyn, realmente lo siento <laughs> Ok, let me go and check Ok, teacher, no problem I'm okay. really sorry Jocelyn, ok, let me go Solo quiero ver algo rápidamente Ok, era para vocabulario, right? It was for, for vocabulary Ajá, uh -huh, correcto Ok, vamos a ver, Jocelyn. Oh, pero no me has escrito para, para recordarme. Sí, le escribí, teacher, pero quizás es que fue hace bastantito. Ay, oh, ya, pues entonces sí, porque no me aparece, no me acuerdo. Jocelyn... Sí. Ah, Lloyd and Jocelyn, vamos a ver. Solo, I just want to make sure. Ok, um, uh -huh. let me see, 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 Quickie. Ok, Jocelyn, ¿puedes escribirme un mensajito, por favor? Ay, se lo mandé el 7 de mayo del 2021. My goodness, eso fue hace tiempo, <risa> hace un mes, a, a month ago. Sí, 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 teacher, imagínate. Ok, ¿puedes mandarme un texto ahorita, por favor? Can you, can you text sí, me right now? De hecho, me respondió, teacher. Ok. Tengo pruebas. Tengo pruebas, oh my God. Entonces sí estoy, estoy mal. I'm really estoy bad. Estoy en serios problemas, dicho. I'm in serious problems. Oh, sí, aquí me puede okay. mandar el buenas noches y gracias por su presencia. Good night, I'll send the materials. Yeah, you're right, tienes razón. Lo siento mucho, Jocelyn, I'm really sorry. Ok, ya me cayó ahorita. Muy bien. Bye, Jocelyn. Era para voca vocabulary, para, para mejorar okay. el vocabulario, right? Correcto. Ok, but I gave you some tips at that moment. Te di algunos tips en ese momento. Did I give you some tips? No? No, no, no tips. No, no. Me... No tips. It's only for vocabulary. No, no me lo dio, right? pero... Es solo para vocabulario. It's only for vocabulary, no more. Sí, solo, ajá, solo, solo para vocabulario, correcto. Ok, if you want, you can take notes. Mm -hmm. Si vos puedes tomar notas, entonces, así ya no se me olvide. So I don't forget, ok? Ok. Yeah, ok, ah... Uh, So the, there are different ways. Tenemos diferentes formas, okay? So basically, una de las formas es, I don't know if you do it, es manejando un cuadernito de vocabulario siempre. Uh -huh. What do I mean? ¿Qué quiero decir con eso? Es decir, andas un cuadernito, una libretita específicamente para, bulario, para vocabulario, and you write new uh -huh. words. Escribes todas las nuevas palabras. Uh -huh. You write all new words, escribes la traducción or the meaning, y vas escribiendo ejemplos. Dejas espacio para dos ejemplos. You leave space for two examples, maybe, ¿ok? Y lo repites cada cierto tiempo. Ese cuadernito va a ir creciendo en vocabulario. It's going, it's, will become your dictionary. Se va a hacer tu diccionario. So the idea is that you write examples with the new vocabulary, that you write the translation, and that you read it every now and then. Que vayas y lo revises de vez en cuando. So practice makes perfect. La práctica es muy importante en inglés, ¿ok? 
That's one tip. Ese es uno de los tips. Yes? One notebook. Okay. With examples uh -huh. and new vocabulary and blah, blah, blah. El segundo es, no sé si a ti te gusta dibujar. I don't know if you like drawing. No, teacher. No. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No hay problema. Puedes hacer tarjetitas. Paquetitos de tarjetitas de cinco y las engrapas. Ok. And you staple them. Y en cada tarjetita, así chiquitas. Ok. Small cards. You write uh -huh. new words. También puedes escribir palabras nuevas. Ok. Puedes llevar unas cinco, cinco tarjetitas o unas diez tarjetitas cada semana para diez palabras. Y las andas cargando siempre. En el bus, I don't know. Uh -huh. On a bicycle, okay. I don't know. Ok. Or in, in a moment in your work, you can check the cards. Puedes revisar las tarjetitas con nuevo vocabulario en cualquier momento. At any moment. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ya no uso bicicleta, teacher. Ah, no, va, no, no era ni moría ahora, en nada. <risa> ahora en, en bus, o sea, ah, okay, so transporte it, público. It's even better, es mejor aún, so on the bus, you can check the, the cards, puedes revisar mm -hmm. las tarjetitas. Y otra es, quiero revisar, a ver si ando esa app, ando una, yo ando una app para vocabulario, es muy interesante. Hay una app, ok, ahorita te voy a mandar la captura, I will send you the screenshot, que se llama phrasal verbs, que son como verbos, y en esa, en esa, ahí eliges tú la categoría, en esa aplicación, es una app, ¿ok? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ahí, ahí eliges tú la categoría de lo, de lo que quieres, y son verbos que son comunes en inglés, y, uh -huh. bueno, déjame ahorita, ahorita, ahorita te lo voy a mandar, porque si no lo olvido después, entre tantas cosas. <risa> sí, lo hago ahorita mejor, do it now. Ok. Just Teacher, now. Otra, otra consulta, fíjese yes. que no me han mandado el correo para enviar este, los papeles. No me han mandado ni correo ni WhatsApp. Pero de parte de... De Intafor. Ah, ok. Ahorita le escribo un mensaje entonces a Elena antes de que se me vaya a olvidar también. Ajá, porque como usted dijo, ¿verdad? Que en la segunda semana uh -huh. mandaban los correos. Jocelyn, Joana. García Cañas. Que no recibió correo. Para solicitar información, documento sería, ¿verdad? Sí, la documento. Para inscribir a módulo 4. Que si no se me olvida entre tanta cosa. Teacher, ¿y que tiene más clases aparte de esta? Sí, yes, yes. I have, I have, I have, not, not with inglés corporativo, but I have classes at school. And I have classes at Universidad de Oriente, so I have different classes. Yeah. I work in different places. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, termina, so I, yeah. Termina cansado, teacher. A little. I'm a little used to it. Estoy un poco acostumbrado. I'm a little used to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, ahorita te mandé ahí la foto de la app. Así como aparece ahí, así se llama. Praise our birds. Okay. Okay. Ahí te mandé la imagen. Puedes descargar la, la, la app y ahí puedes practicar vocabulario en esa aplicación también. Ahí sola, esa app solamente es para verbos con frases. Por ejemplo, verbos tales como, ¿cuál te puedo decir? Which one? Por ejemplo, cuando decimos ponte la ropa, put on, put on es un verbo, okay? es un phrasal uh -huh. verb. Put on your clothes, for example. O puede ser... Um, cuando llego a la casa, me despisto, me quito la ropa para cambiarme, right? Mm. You say take mm -hmm. off. Es un verbo que se ocupa. Take off. Estas, estos son mm -hmm. verbos que son muy importantes en el inglés. Entonces, esa app tira ejemplos, tira fotos del significado y tira el significado. ¿Ok? Así que te puede ayudar okay. mucho también en vocabulario. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Ok, no problem. Thank you, thank you. Ok. So I don't know if you have anything else. ¿Hay algo más en lo que te pueda ayudar? Mm, no, quizás solo eso. De ahí lo demás, pues, lo, eh, los irregular verbs y los regular verbs hay que aprendérselos. Entonces, yes. es the only solo. way, es la única forma. Entonces, nos dejo traumado ya eso. Es <risa> parte del English forma. learning. Es parte del aprendizaje del idioma. Es parte del English learning process. 
Ok. Ya. Yeah. Solamente eso quizás, teacher. Ok, Jocelyn, voy a, eh, escríbeme. Voy a, voy a ver si busco otras aplicaciones okay. para, para vocabulario, porque no he buscado más aplicaciones para vocabulario. Esa es porque yo la manejo y a mí me encanta okay, muchísimo. Ok, teacher. Pero puedo buscar otras, okay. escríbeme. Si puede buscar otras aplicaciones para vocabulario, me ayuda para ver si encuentro otras, ¿ok? Vaya, teacher, está bien, entonces. Yo le o escribo. si no, Duolingo, highly recommended. Duolingo ah, me Ah, lo muchísimo. tengo. Ah, ok, perfecto. Lo tengo. Perfecto. perfecto. Solo que como hoy que soy así, ay, es que últimamente, teacher, estoy como que... Very busy. Mucho muy me ocupada. enfermo, pero, ajá, pero es, es por mi estado, teacher. Es por mi yeah. estado. Yeah, I, Entonces, I, I know. I know your state. <laughs> ya me usted, usted más o menos se imagina. Yes. Ah, pues entonces por eso solo soy sueño, náuseas, dolor de cabeza. Va a salir bilingüe. Ay, Va a salir bilingüe. <risa> Ay, no, que el leche. Ojalá vea. Ojalá le dé. Yeah. Okay, Jocelyn. Uh, <risa> thank you very much for connecting. And, well, see you tomorrow. Te veo mañana entonces. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, good night. Good night.